Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you all, shalom, pax. I want to start by thanking the Reverend C.J. Hawking for her great leadership in bringing all of us together. I want to thank all of these great faith leaders behind me for standing in solidarity with our sister and with us and with our communities. But most of all, I stand here today in awe and in reverence of this great woman behind me, Dr. Hawkins. A woman that America needs in this place, in this time. She was commissioned to teach students in a classroom. She ended up teaching America and really teaching a lesson to the world. That's right. By standing up with those who are facing bigotry and hate, not just in words, but in action, and doing so with a great sense of her own faith conviction and religious consciousness. She taught this lesson to her students, and she taught it to me, and she taught it to countless others. She didn't have to do what she did, but she's more than just someone who thinks of religion in terms of presentation, but rather representation. Mm, yes. And that's exactly what Wheaton College, that's what I and everybody in my community, and everybody else who claims any sense of religiosity ought to learn from Dr. Hawkins. We cannot understand what she's doing without talking about the context of the times in which we're living right now. That's right. That's right. The rise in Islamophobia and how it targets the most vulnerable within the Muslim community women who wear the head scarf or the hijab. She picked up on that and stood up in solidarity to say, I will experience what they experience. Every morning, members of my community, children included, wake up not asking whether there's going to be an expression of Islamophobia and anti-Muslim bigotry, but what the flavor of the day is going to be. Who's going to make it? A presidential candidate who says that if you're a Muslim, you can't run for the highest office of this country, even though you're a tax-paying citizen. Another who says that if you're a Muslim, you ought to be banned from entering the United States of America. Others on television, on the internet, in the blogosphere, amongst the political elite or the media elite who come out and question Islam as a religion of terrorism, despite the fact that over 1.5 billion people follow Islam in the most peaceful way possible. That's what we wake up to every morning. But one morning we woke up and we saw a woman with a hijab saying, I will stand with you. I can tell you as a Muslim who has nothing but respect and reverence taught to me as a Muslim by my Imams for Christianity, I had never seen an expression that represents what Jesus stands for as I had with Reverend, with, with Dr. Hawkins. And that to me did not cause me to wonder whether she was diluting the message of Christianity, but rather it taught me that this is what Jesus is about. Let's remember. And correct me if I'm wrong, I'm surrounded here by men and women of great faith. Okay? I'm about to make a statement on Jesus as a Muslim, so correct me if I'm wrong. But to my knowledge and understanding, Jesus came not just for those who did not know God, not just for the irreligious or the non-religious, but for the religious and the most religious. And he came to question them and call them out on the letter of the law versus the spirit of the law. He came to the Pharisees. He came to the Pharisees who spent day and night hunching over scrolls and scri scribes as accountants and engaging with religion in a form of mathematical calculus. Things that still happen today amongst Jews, Muslims, and Christians. And he came to them and he said, but you've forgotten that God is also under the rock. Well, that God is everything. That God is not just in your church. <laughs> if he agrees, then I must be onto something. <laughs> but I'll close with this. Her message is one that's important because it go goes against the currents and the waves of our time to say, I will stand even if alone, but she's not going to be alone. That's I will stand right. up that's and right. I will say, this is wrong. I'm not going to get into the details of who worships what. Clearly, in the Quran, in the Torah, in the Bible, there is talk of the God of Abraham, of El, of Elah, of Ilah, of Allah. The same word for the same God from different root languages of Semitism, Semitic languages of Aramaic, Hebrew, and Arabic. 
That is there, and I will not get into that religious Olympics. Stay right there. <laughs> but I'll get into the fact that what she did was anti-bigotry. And what Wheaton College failed to understand was that they tried to trip her up as she stood up against bigotry to, to almost say, you cannot stand in solidarity against bigotry while you work for us. Mm. And that's a problematic statement. It right. takes us back. Right. So I say we stand with you, Dr. Hawkins, all of us today, and we'll always stand up together for America, not just for Muslims, for whichever group is targeted. We'll stand together as one team yep. under yes. one God. Thank yes. you.